Hey everybody, I'm Scott Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you from the David Ortiz studio deep in the bowels of the Winners and Winers Sports and Entertainment Complex to bring you today's Deep Three. As always, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, mash those buttons as the kids say, hit that thumb, hit that rectangle, mm, give us a love, you know, you know the drill. And of course, let us know what you're playing today. Tell us if you're fading, if you're tailing, what you've got on your own. There's a lot of sports going on. We got uh, we got baseball. We got a little soccer. Got a little tennis. We got some fantastic cappers out there. So share the love, guys. If you're if you're on something, let your fellow cappers know what it is so they can get down and get some victories as well. And when you get it right, we will give you the shout out in the shout out section at the end of our next video. What could be sweeter? And of course. Don't forget to check out our newest partner, PointsBet.com, for all you people in New Jersey. If you're in New Jersey, if you're passing through New Jersey, if you're thinking about new, making New Jersey your new home, by golly, make sure you stop by and check out PointsBet. Uh, a lot of cool features. They've got some terrific sign-up bonuses. They've got nickel lines on all their games. Uh, they've got some cool um, uh, things that they do as far as uh, for their new players. You can get... Uh, you can, you can get down on the NBA games and uh, play the money line. And if you're in the head at the end of the third quarter, you win. You don't even have to worry about the uh, fourth quarter meltdown uh, or a team losing the lead. Uh, looking looking at you there, uh, um, <laughs> Portland. So, yeah, you uh, if you had Portland on the money line the last couple times, you'd have been a winner instead of being just absolutely heartbroken. So uh, make sure you check out pointsbet.com. Uh, for all of your gambling needs, it is the latest and greatest. And, of course, we talked about it yesterday. Um, if you've got a prop, they will set up any prop in, in, uh, in, for, for our customers. So we're going, to, uh, we're going to pick the best prop. If you guys submit it uh, there early in the day, early, it takes them a couple, three hours to get it set up. They'll set the odds, and then you'll see your own prop over there if we choose you um, as, uh, as far as the prop goes. We had the... Uh, we had, uh, the uh, we we had the uh, I'm trying to think what it was the um, oh the uh, Milwaukee weed Christian Yelich hit a home run today was the was the uh, prop of the day and of course we put your name on it and I, I think that uh, I think that was Cody's if I'm not mistaken I'm gonna I'm gonna look, double check and and check my records I didn't write it down but that was the uh, that was the prop today that was a good run I didn't see the odds on it but uh, I know that he did not hit because the uh, Milwaukee Brewers got shut out so. Uh, but yeah, definitely give us whatever prop you'd like to see. And if it's a good one, if we like it, we'll uh, send it over to the guys there at PointsBet. So check that out as well. Check out our websites, of course, winnersandwinders.com, statsalt.com for all your handicapping needs. And uh, yeah, once you once you get all those things figured out, head over to PointsBet to make your bet. What could be sweeter, right? All right, guys. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's take a quick look at what we did yesterday. Uh, we did nothing yesterday. Absolutely dreadful. Uh, a complete wipeout on everything that uh, walks. We had... Uh, uh, we had Philadelphia. Nope. We had the uh, De Miami Detroit under. Nope. Uh, hits the uh, hits the bottom of the ninth, four two, and uh, the Miami Marlins cannot hold the lead as they puke up two runs in the bottom of the ninth, and and then we had the Bucks as well. They uh, never showed up as uh, no no teams from Milwaukee really showed up last night. The Bucks nor the Brewers, um, and then on the premium side, we also did terribly. Uh, we had Detroit. Uh, team total under, so that uh, those two runs there in the bottom of the ninth not only cost us on the deep three, it cost us, and that was our that was our three unit play of the day, the Detroit Tigers under three and a half. So that did not work out well. Uh, we had the Colorado Pittsburgh over. Uh, Colorado did their thing; they put up five runs. Pittsburgh just did nothing against Ramon Marquez, and we had the Milwaukee Toronto under, uh, close but no cigar as they came in at 221 in that one, I believe. And then we had a bonus play. We got a trend that we've been tracking with the Miami Marlins um, going under on the team total, and that did not happen as well as they went a half a run over. Uh, actually, a run and a half over, they ended up winning in extras. So, uh, not our best day, uh -huh. okay? So, uh, let's try again today. Let's see what we got conjured up for today. Um, we, will not, we will not do any worse. So, um, this is a good time to remember that, uh, remind you guys that these picks are just for entertainment purposes, for entertainment purposes only. They are free uh, on the Deep Three, of course. Our premium subscribers paying a little bit for the picks. Uh, but uh, 
we make up for it over there, and uh, we plan to get hot very, very soon on both ends. So let's uh, let's start off with today, shall we? Uh, I'm going to take a look at Minnesota and the LA Angels. I'm going to go with no f- run in the first inning. How about that? As uh, Perez goes for Minnesota against Matt Harvey for the Los Angeles Angels. Um, you know, no team gives up fewer runs in the first inning than the Minnesota Twins. They've given up uh, first inning runs in just 17% of their games. And Perez has done his part giving up runs in just two of 10 games. Hey, that's almost like 20%. Um, he's also very good in the rest of the game as he is 6-1 and one with an ERA of 2.89. However, on the other side is probably where we're going to have to worry. Matt Harvey, like I said, is the weak link most likely in this equation. He's having a bad season with a 6.35 ERA, but... He hasn't been awful in the first inning as he's given up runs in just three of his nine starts. Uh, Twins, they score, uh, they're about middle of the pack. They score in the first inning about 32% of the time. So you know what, guys? I think we have a shot here with this one. Let's take the uh, Minnesota Twins, LA Angels, no run in the first inning. Um, Staying in the American League as the Chicago White Sox take on the Houston uh, Astros. Yvonne Nova gets the ball for Chicago against Garrett Cole for the Houston Astros. You know what, guys? Chicago's plus 280 in this one, and we haven't taken a long shot in a, in a hot minute, so we're going to do it here today. Here's my theory. If we're not going to win, we might as well not be winning big bets, okay? Uh, um, you know, and there's I, there's some things that give us some hope here. Nova, um, he has some horrific stats because when he is bad, he is really, really bad. Uh, in his bad five starts, he has an ERA. Are you ready? Of 15.19. No, that is not a misprint. Um, in his other four starts, uh, he's been very good. He's given up just one run per start, checking in with an ERA of 1.38. So five awful starts, four very good starts. We need good Nova to show up for us here today. Um, Garrett Cole's been good, but he hasn't been unhittable. He's got an ERA of 3.5 reg, 3.56. He's surrendered three or more runs in four of his 10 starts. Um, here's the deal with this one. We probably won't know if we win it until the last out, but we may know if we lose it pretty damn fast. Cause if bad Nova shows up, uh, this one ain't going to last long kids. We're not going to have to wait around uh, to find out how we do. Cause they are going to hammer Yvonne Nova. So I'm hoping good Nova shows up and he has handcuffed some good teams, including the Yankees this year. So we'll see what happens. Give me Chicago White Sox plus 280 and Taking a look in the other game in the American League as the Seattle Mariners travel down there. Deep in the heart of Texas. Take on the Texas Rangers. Um, Mario Gonzalez, um, uh, Mar- uh, excuse me, Mar- Marco Gonzalez goes for Seattle against Adrian Sampson for the Texas Rangers. We're taking a look. The total of this game, by the way, is 12. 12 for a day game down there in Texas. Yeehaw! And you know what? We're going right with it. Uh, we're going to take a first five over six in this one, all right? Uh, Marco Gonzalez struggled lately, but he has occasionally uh, looked like a competent major league starter at times this season. Uh, Adrian Sampson, uh, yeah, not so much. Uh, he's been decent as a reliever, but as a starter, he has been dreadful, giving up 36 hits in just 22 and a third inning over his five starts. Uh, Texas. Leads the majors in first five runs at home, averaging 4.30 runs in the first five frames, while the Mariners are second in road runs in the first five innings, checking in with 3.54. We have two good offensive teams that are good at getting it done early, and we have one dreadful pitcher and one pitcher who's been just a little bit chilly lately. Give me Seattle Mariners, Texas Rangers over six runs in the first five innings. And the Chicago White Sox plus 280 against the Houston Astros and the LA Angels, Minnesota Twins. No run in the first inning. And at the end of those three games, you guys can join me. We'll pick up our tickets. And especially if we hit that plus 280, we'll be sprinting back to the window. All right, everyone. Quick uh, quick uh, change of uh, scenery here as we do this on the fly. And we are going to put up our information for it, the premium picks. If you want to get down on the premium picks, uh, make sure you do that as well. That's the way to get my best play uh, every day as we do rank those plays. And uh, unlike yesterday where they were all, all the plays were tied, where they were all uh, no bueno. But that is a that is a rarity. That was our first wipeout day in a while. And we, uh, like I said, we've been doing pretty well. So uh, if you're interested in the premium, premium picks, get signed up over there. Get yourself access to me as well with any questions about gambling, games, anything like that. 
happy to answer those. All right, so without further ado, no more plugs. Let's uh, take a look at the shout outs for today, shall we? Uh, Blaze, he uh, had some plays from the Milwaukee-Toronto game. He had Brooke Lopez over seven and a half points. Uh, Lopez obliterated that as he put up eight. Well done. Well done, Blaze. Uh, Alan H. Oh, Alan H. had forced gump calls, and he wants his hair back. I know I'm not a smart man, but I think that was an insult right there. Uh, <laughs> you know what? You know, I've, I've talked about my hair before. I get it cut. I have three weeks where I look like Gomer fucking Pyle. I have three weeks where it looks about the way I want it to. And then for all the time after that, it's really just uh, watching the cr- clock run out until I can't stand it and how it looks anymore. So uh, Forrest Gump, one of my favorite movies, by the way. Um, uh, I'll take that. Thanks, Alan. Um, I can I can take it. I'm a big boy. Nice shot, brother. Uh, Stack Left. Stack Left uh, had a nice bet here today. Uh, and no comment about my hair. Nice job, Stack. Um, he had the Nets and the Nats and the Mets over seven and a half. C Dub out there in the world of unpronounceable soccer. Actually, not too bad on the old man today. I appreciate it. C Dub took it easy on me. Uh, he played in the Italy Serie B, and he had uh, Citadella and Benevento over two and a half at plus one fifteen. Catch a little value there, brother. Uh, in the Holland Eredivisie playoffs. Oh man, uh, he had Ultricht Hercules, uh, Ultricht and Heracles over three uh, at minus 149. Had to lay a little wood on that one. That one pushed as they ended up at three. And then uh, C-Dub hit everything else inside. He had Ultrek to win. Very good. And he had uh, Vatisse and Groningen over two and a half. Very nice. And, of course, he had Vatrice to win at minus 142. All three of those cash. So that looks like a uh, looks like a 4-0 in one day there for C-Dub. Nicely done, my friend. Uh, nobody deserves it more than the soccer master over there that you are well, well done. Um, Percy S., he had the Yankees on the run line. Jason M., he also had the Yankees on the run line. And uh, we got to, we got the Cobra, Cobra Sports, the 609 out there in New Jersey. And you know, hey, speaking of New Jersey, have you heard about our new partner? Points bet. Make sure you check that out. Um, I assume that's what the 609 was for. Uh, the Cobra Sports, he did have Colorado Pittsburgh. He tailed us. And that did not end up well for us. But uh, keep posting, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate appreciate you sharing your picks. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hit him, brother. Don't worry about it. Uh, the Legion of Picks said he's ready to feast. Uh, he, he, oh, that's right. Legion of Picks had the prop bet. My bad. My bad. My bad. LOP. Uh, he had the, the prop bet of Yelich to Homer, and uh, he had the uh, uh, also had the St. Louis uh, Redbirds on the run line. That game was rained out there in St. Louis. Uh, the astute Ardvark said, "Congrats to my kid who graduated last weekend. Uh, thanks very much, the astute Ardvark. I am, uh, of course, an extremely proud parent, and uh, and give all the credit where it's due uh, to my wife. Um, you got four four great kids, and uh, yeah, very very proud, especially this time of year as we had the, the double graduations in the last couple of weeks. So, uh, congrats to them as well as they go out and start their lives uh, <laughs> like they're watching the old man's videos. <laughs> Not a chance." Um, and the uh, astute Aardvark was uh, he was uh, rewarded for his kind words with a pretty fine day. Uh, he missed a, he misses on the Miami Detroit under uh, heartbreaker there in the ninth, but he had everything else inside as he had the Yankees on the first five minus a half. He had in Houston on the run line as well. Uh, very nicely done, Mister Aardvark. And uh, Ninja he had a pretty decent day as well. He had the Raptors and he had the Cubs on the money line. Well done, Ninja thirteen. Uh, congratulations on your win. Congratulations to all you guys that hit. And uh, that's it. We'll uh, try this again tomorrow. We'll fire We'll fire up the old Wayback Machine. We'll take a look at today's plays. And we'll get you set one more time. So we'll do it again yeah, about 24 hours from now. All right? You guys have a great day. Hope you win them all. Let's meet back here tomorrow and talk about it. All right? You guys take care. See you later.